Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your merchant SKU and local SKU configurations. This setup is important as the merchant SKU is the unique identifier that Amazon uses to create your listings. The local SKU, on the other hand, is optional and is intended for internal use only, but it can prove to be quite useful, especially for merchant fulfilled sellers. You can find the SKU configuration options by going to Inventory, SKU Configuration. A new window will show up and in the upper half you have your static identifiers and below that you have the setup for merchant SKU on the left and the setup for local SKU on the right. The static identifiers will be the same in each SKU. The ones on the left are generically dubbed workstation ID, worker ID, vendor or supplier ID and shelf location. But these fields can be used much like custom field 1 and custom field 2 where you can type in any value you want to add to your uh, SKU configuration. Right above custom fields 1 and 2 you have sequence 1 and sequence 2 and these will allow you to create a format for incrementing your SKUs. Every SKU configuration has to have a sequence. Enter the number you want your sequence to start with in the sequence 1 position. Next to the words with number of digits Enter the number of digits you want the incremented number to have. For example, if you plan to add more than a thousand items, you need to increase the default number of digits from 3 to at least 4. If you leave it on 3, SKUs will start over after adding the first 1000 items. Next, go to the box at the bottom of the SKU configuration window and click the Add button for Merchant SKU. This adds a new field to the merchant SKU configuration and if you click on it again a drop down will be enabled which gives you several options among which are the static identifiers we previously defined. Choose what fields you like to add to your SKUs and make sure a sequence is included. It will start with the number you chose and increment from there with each new SKU. Follow the same steps to set up your local SKU, then click OK. Now, when you add items, your SKUs will be added and auto-incremented. If you have any questions, send us an email to support at sellerengine.com. Thank you for watching.